welcome to or back to the yoga corner. I'm Kira, and today I'm going to be guiding you through an energizing full body yoga practice and we'll be starting at the tops of our mat. So without further ado, let's get into our practice. Take a moment at the top of your mat just to center yourself. You might find it useful to look down towards the feet. Make sure that you've got a nice hip width distance between those feet and just allow yourself to start connecting with the sensation of the feet against the mat and how that can provide you stability throughout our practice. We can take a nice big deep breath in together. Perhaps as you do, you might like to reach the hands all the way up to the sky, lifting nice and tall. And exhale, we'll bring those hands together at the heart space. Really nice. We'll do that one more time. Inhale, sweep the hands up to the sky, lifting tall. Exhale, bring the hands together at the heart space. Really good. As your hands reach the heart space, I want you to think about pushing down through the left foot and we're gonna lift the right knee in towards the chest. You can either stay there just with the right knee extended in front of you, or if you'd like to start challenging through the balance, you can start to interlace the hands around that right shin and lift it a little bit closer in towards the body. At this point, I'd advise finding a point in front of you that isn't moving just to guide you a little bit and give you something to focus your attention on. Take a moment just to stand nice and tall. And then whenever you're ready, you can either stay here or you can keep the left hand on the right shin and open the right arm back behind you. You can either look over towards the right side of the room or you can bring your gaze back towards that right hand. We'll take a nice big deep breath in here. And exhale to unwind, coming back through center. Palms meet again in front of the chest. Take a nice big deep breath in. As you do, you're gonna extend the right leg back behind you. Chest moves forward. We're finding our warrior three just for a moment or wobbling into our warrior three as the case may be. Take a deep breath in and exhale. You're gonna bend through the left knee and step the right toes back behind you, finding a high lunge, really nice. Inhale to sweep the hands up to the sky, lifting tall. Exhale, float the hands down to frame that left foot. Really good. Take a nice big deep breath in. Inhale, sweep the hands up to the sky. Find your high lunge. Really good, nice and tall through the upper body. Exhale, this time rather than bringing the hands beside the left foot, you're gonna sweep the chest forward and the arms back behind you. Really nice. One more time. Inhale, sweep the hands up to the sky, lifting tall. Exhale, sweep the hands back behind you, reaching through the fingertips. And inhale, we sweep those hands up again, lifting tall. And as we exhale, we're gonna find our warrior two. Left foot stays where it is, right foot spins parallel with the short edge of the mat. We open our arms out to a T, reaching through the fingertips, opening through the chest. Really nice, take a big deep breath. Exhale, make sure you soften the shoulders away from the ears. Really nice. One more big deep breath here in your warrior two. And as you exhale, left forearm is gonna to come towards that left thigh. Keep a nice bend in the left knee. And then we're gonna sweep the right arm up and overhead, reaching over that right arm side of the body. Think about lengthening all the way down through the right fingertips all the way to the base of that right foot, creating a nice long line through the body in your extended side angle. Take a big deep breath. As you exhale, we windmill back round, find our warrior two, really nice. Take a full deep breath in. As you exhale, bring the hands together at the heart space. You're gonna spin on this back foot and come all the way back towards the front of the mat. Really nice. Take a full deep breath in. As you exhale, float the fingertips down, frame the left foot. And with an inhale, bring that right foot up to meet the left. Forward fold at the front of your mat. Really nice. Take a couple of deep breaths in your forward fold. Allow the body to soften and relax. You might like to gently pedal the legs, shifting the weight from one foot to the other really nice we'll take one more breath there in our forward fold exhale completely 
and inhale to sweep the hands up to the sky, lifting tall. Exhale, we're gonna bring the hands together at the heart space. Really nice. You can either keep your hands in front of your chest or if you'd like to open up through the shoulders, you can instead of bringing the hands in front of the body, do the exact same posture, but bring them behind your spine, finding a reverse prayer position. As you find that reverse prayer, think about opening the chest, squeezing the shoulder blades together, and you'll feel a nice stretch through the shoulders as well. Take a really big, deep breath in. As you exhale, we're gonna forward fold with that reverse prayer position if you've got it. If not, just allow the hands to dangle down as they normally would. Really good. Full deep breath in. Exhale completely. Inhale, lift back up all the way to standing. Really nice. Release the hands. Maybe you give the wrists a little shake out if they feel a little bit tense after that position. And we're going to find our balance posture, which today will be our dancer's pose. Left foot is going to stay firm on the mat and you're going to bend your right knee and hug the right foot in towards the glutes. Take a moment to stand there and just as we did at the beginning of our practice, find a point ahead of you that is not moving, something to focus your attention on because it will help you to balance. Whenever you're ready, you can bring the right hand round to grab the right foot on the big toe side, so you're on the inside of that right foot. Try and keep that right knee in line with the left so you don't want it to go out to the side too much. And then whenever you feel steady, you're going to start kicking the right foot back and up. As that leg kicks up, your left hand can reach out ahead of you. You can bring the thumb and index finger together in a mudra. And you're gonna think about lifting up through the chest, counterbalancing through the hand as you kick up through the right leg. Really nice. Think about opening through the chest, embracing any wobbles. Nice big deep breath in and exhale to gently come back up to standing. Release that right foot, give the body a little wiggle and shake out as we reset. Really nice, take a big deep breath in, reach the fingertips to the sky. Exhale, hands come down to the heart center. Take a pause there, nice full cycle of breath. Exhaling completely. With our next inhale, right foot is going to stay on the ground, left knee is going to come in front of the body. Again, allowing yourself to find that point, focus your attention on, finding some stability here, and then choosing to either stay exactly as you are or interlace the hands around that left shin. Guiding that left knee in towards the body, lifting nice and tall through the chest, either staying there or keeping the right hand where it is on the left shin and then opening that left arm back behind you. You can either gaze out towards the left side of your room or bring your gaze backwards towards that left hand. Wherever you are, focus on using that right foot on the ground to ground you and bring stability. Taking a full deep breath in and exhaling to gently unwind, coming back through center. Really good. We bring the hands together at the heart space, keeping that left foot hovering. Nice big deep breath. As we exhale, we bring the chest forward and kick that left leg back behind us. We're finding our warrior three just for a moment. Chest comes parallel with the ground. Nice big deep breath. Exhale to bend through the right knee and step those left toes back behind you. We're gonna sweep the hands up to the sky and we're finding our high lunge. Keep stable through that right foot. Nice big deep breath in. As you exhale, hands are going to float down and frame that right foot. Really nice. Take a big deep breath in. Inhale, we sweep the hands back up to the sky, high lunge. Really nice. Pausing there as we inhale. Exhale, this time instead of bringing the hands to the ground, we sweep them back behind us. Chest comes towards the right leg, arms float behind. Inhale, we sweep the hands up to the sky, high lunge, really good. And exhale, we flow them back, reaching through the fingertips. 
Inhale, we come back up, high lunge, really nice. Pause there for a moment. Find length through the upper body. And as we exhale, we find our warrior two. Back foot spins parallel with the short edge of the mat. Arms open out to a T. We're gazing over the middle finger of our left hand, extending through both arms, nice and long. Really good. Take a big, deep breath in. And as you exhale, right forearm will find that right thigh. We're keeping a nice bend in that right leg. Left fingertips sweep in front of the face as we reach up and overhead, finding our extended side angle. Thinking about creating that nice long line all the way from the base of that left foot to the tips of your left fingers. Really nice. Take a big deep breath in. And as you exhale, we unwind, open the chest, warrior two, really good. One big deep breath here. As you exhale, you can bring the hands together at the heart space as you twist on that back foot and come back to a high lunge position. Nice full inhale, exhale, fingertips float to the ground, we frame the right foot and you're gonna step that left foot up to meet the right, finding your forward fold at the front of the mat. Once again, giving yourself just a couple of breaths here in this fold position. You might pedal out the legs, shift the weight forwards into the toes and then back into the heels. Really just taking any movements that allow you to release into this fold posture. With an inhale, we lift up halfway, hands to shins. And exhale, we fold down nice and gently. Inhale, we sweep the hands up to the sky, lifting tall. And exhale, hands come down to the heart space, pausing there. Once again, you've got the option to either stay here with the hands at the heart center, or we can find a reverse prayer, bringing the hands to the same position, but behind the back of the body. Opening the chest and squeezing the shoulder blades together. Take a nice deep breath in as you expand the chest. And exhale, you fold forwards. If you've got that reverse prayer, keep it. If you've got the hands in front of the chest, just allow them to float down beside the feet. Take an inhale here. Exhale completely. And inhale, we lift the chest up, coming to a nice tall position. Release the hands, you might like to give the fingers a little wiggle out. Really nice, okay. We're going to bring the hands together at the heart space for a moment and we're setting up for our balance, our dancer's pose on the other side. This time the right foot will be staying stable on the ground and whenever you feel ready you can start to lift those left toes away from the ground, curling that left foot in towards the glutes. Find some stability here and before we go any further think about finding your focus point, something to focus all of your attention on that isn't moving, something to guide your balance. And then once you feel ready, you can reach the left hand round to find the left foot on the inside, so on the big toe edge of that foot. Give yourself a moment to stabilize. And once you feel as steady as you can, you're gonna to start to kick that left foot back behind you. As the left foot kicks back behind you, right hand can reach out ahead, thinking about the arm and the leg as counterbalances for each other. You can find that mudra, bringing the thumb and the first finger together if that feels comfortable, or you can just reach the hand out as it is. Thinking about lifting up through that back leg rather than back. This isn't a warrior three, which is our dancer's pose, and we want a nice open chest. One more big deep breath. Embracing any wobbles as we exhale and come back to a standing position, releasing the hand from that foot and giving ourselves a little wiggle out. We're gonna meet at the top of our mat here, taking a moment just to let all of that movement settle into the body, allowing yourself to soak in all of that energy you've just created. We'll all bring the hands together at the heart space, taking a big deep breath in through the nose and a full exhale out through the mouth. Thank you so much for choosing to practice with me today. I hope you enjoyed building some energy and challenging your balance. I hope to see you in another class again very, very soon. Namaste.